Hello everybody, it's Tony Rose again and I am going to be doing a collective haul video. This is really, really overdue because I bought these things, most of these things a week ago. A couple of things I'm going to show you I bought like February and I just didn't really have a chance to show everyone because I didn't really think they were worth a collective haul video because I just bought them randomly not so much hauling. Anyways, let's get started because I have a lot of crap to show you. So the first thing I want to show you is um, just bottles of nail polish but I love this nail polish. Yeah, hold on, let me display them properly. So they're by a designer called Joe and for those of you who don't live in Canada, well I don't know, I'm not too educated on the states and grocery stores. But anyways, um, at the Superstore slash Loblaws, they carry a designer called Joe and he designs lots of clothing and he has a cosmetics line and um, it's very, very inexpensive products, but it's great quality for the price that you are paying. Um, I've experimented with a little bit, experimented with a little bit of his cosmetic line. And um, these nail polishes, they're so tiny, they're only six milliliters, but I only paid like three thirty-three for each of them. It was three for ten bucks. Um, and I got them in this in the in the pastel colors, so green, purple, and pink. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because I think these colors go great with the OPI shatter that I also got a couple, uh, last week. Um, this was almost impossible to find in my hometown. Um, I live in a suburban area called Scarborough, which is just east of Toronto. Not too far. I'm still on the subway line. End of the line, but I'm still on the subway line. Um, so. I find that the OPI shatter works really, really well with pale, uh, like pastel colors. Um, I tried it with darker, like a darker pink, and like a bright pink, and it just, it just looked weird. I don't know. I didn't like it. I still have to experiment with the glitter, but anyways, the OPI shatter was, like I said, almost impossible to find in my hometown. They were sold out for two weeks, so I had to wait two weeks to get a hold of this, and I was surprised I got a hold of it. Apparently, they're not really displaying it out anymore. They just like have one out and then girls just assume they don't have any more so they don't buy it or they just think it's like the sample. But anyways, this was $20 and I love it. It's so cool. I want to know the technology behind this. I'm not even interested in the nail polish. I'm just interested in the science. Like I'm such a nerd. The next couple things that I bought uh, were obviously what you know, makeup gurus all over YouTube are going insane for, and I bought a few things from the MAC Wonder Woman collection. Oh my god! And, to be honest with you, I wasn't a fan of Wonder Woman collection. I did not like it. I don't know, I think it's just me and like my skin complexion and my chinness when it comes to um, makeup. But um, anyways, I'll show you the colors that I got. I got the Wonder Woman Emancipation Lip Gloss. Um, this is $22 or $24 in Canada. This is a really popular color. I, was, I almost could not find it. And I was really, really tempted to buy it online, but I don't know. I waited it out and I finally found one. And it's jumbo size. It's really big compared to their regular lip glass. I should pull that closer. And this color is, it comes off in a very nude pink, so I've been wearing it a lot as a nude. Um, the only thing I really don't like about it is because it's so like huge that if you don't take it out slowly it just friggin explodes everywhere and then you like you waste it like a big glob of the uh, the lipstick. So I just I don't know I try to melt it before I use it because I it's, it's just so gross sometimes. And the other thing that I bought from the collection was the Amazon Princess blush and this was $24 sorry it's like not tinted properly but um the reason why I decided to buy blush is because this color the bigger portion of it um it's very very similar to the blush that I usually use and 
I have heard it was really, really pigmented. Um, all of your, all of your um, reviews on YouTube. So I decided to buy it because I figured if I'm paying twenty-four dollars for a blush and all you're using is one swipe and you get enough color on your cheeks, it's worth twenty-four dollars because you're not using so much of it every single time. So I bought that. I actually bought this one from the Bay because the Mac store didn't carry it. And the last thing that I got from the Mac Wonder Woman collection was this was this skin finish mineralized mineralized skin finish in the pink power. And I bought the last one in stock in the entire friggin' Toronto GTA. I could not find this anywhere. I went to different cities just to find it because Mac online didn't have it anymore. And I honestly love this better than my other skin finish. Um, I use the whole thing. I know some girls like to just pick and choose which one they use, but I just use the whole thing. And I just one swipe and that's all I use. I love this. This is $42 in Canada. Okay, and another thing that I bought from MAC is these oil control lotion because I need a new oil, uh, oil free moisturizer because mine is making my face oily again. This was $35. And I also bought the MAC Prime. It's a skin base and this was $31.50. Was, they were having a special so I bought that. I also bought, this was I bought online because I can't, I've been looking for this lipstick since last year. My pageant sister introduced it to me and I love the color on her and it's called Saint Germain and you can't really find it in stores. Well, I tried all Mac stores in Canada and I can't seem to find it. So I ordered it online. I got free shipping! Yeah! Um, it was $19.77 with taxes. It's one of my favorite colors. Obviously because it's pink. So that's another thing I got. Um, and the last couple things I bought were kind of like my last shopping spree because I gave up shopping for Lent, like excessive shopping. And I bought this two nights ago and I technically didn't buy it because I used my shopper's optimum points. So um, I bought this, I don't know how to pronounce it, is it Quo? Like I'm assuming it's Quo. So I bought this pink and pink and white shimmer eyeshadow. It was only $4, they were having a 50% off. And it comes in this cute little case. It's got a little mirror, so you guys can see that, and it comes in this cute little diamond case. So there's that. And I also bought the double like stand eye illuminator by is it L'Oreal Paris. Um, it's the one that Beyonce promotes. Like it has the mascara on one end, and then uh, some sort of shimmer for your eye. Like regarding, I mean, depending on what your eye color is, it has like this eye illuminator that will bring up the color of your eyes and I got the one in hazel. This was $11.99 on sale. So that is my collective haul. Stick around for my review. You guys will see which product I'm going to do a review on. But um, that was going to be my last collective haul for the next, what day are we on? I think there's like 30 something days left, 35 days left of Lent left. So that's going to be my last haul for the next little while. Wish me luck guys. I really hope I don't break this one. See you guys later.